that without anyone requesting any x-rays or MRIs or anything extra, I got to the last room. And someone was like, oh, let's, get, uh, let's get an x-ray on his uh, left hip while we're at it. You know, let's, uh, let's MRI that left knee, too. Yeah. And the x-ray was fine. That was like, you know, five minutes. But that MRI, I was sitting in that machine playing it. And it's a, it's a tight machine, right? Oh, it's a little machine. I mean, oh, I was only ended up to about okay. there. So I could just sit there and let my hands over here. Yeah. Where were your measurements? I don't I was like six. All I remember is height and weight. I remember six, one, six, yeah, six, one, seven. And 301, which is you know, pretty much right on what I was looking for, so that worked out nice. In the NFL, you'd be playing guard? Or guard center, yeah. Guard center. Yeah. Did you play guard? I played uh, primarily guard, did a little bit of center in the spring of 09. Uh, never made it to a game as a center, though. I've uh, been working a lot on it in the offseason, though. And I was told you actually were quite the athlete back in the day. Mm -hmm. You played in the Little League World Series. Little League World Series, uh, 2000, yeah. What position were you? First base. And I guess you could say pitcher. I pitched for two thirds of an inning. So I'll count it. Well, how, so you would have been what? How old at that point? Then? Twelve years old. Twelve. Yeah. So what was your height and weight at that point? Six I was, three. I was no, I'm just six, kidding. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Close. I was. They had me measured up in cleats at six two two thirty. So I was probably actually like six foot two thirty. But the weight was accurate. Any hits? Hmm? Any hits? Home run. Couple of hits. Yeah. Yeah, I was the run. slugger on the team, so. When you also wrestled and the track, I mean, football, obviously, that's where all the money is, but did you ever have a passion for any of those other sports, or football was always number one for you? You know, I thought I was going to play professional baseball until I got to high school. And then I got to high school, and freshman year, I was playing linebacker, and I got hurt. And when I came back, I gained, like, 60 pounds or something, you know. Like, talk about the freshman 15 in college. No, I just put it all on in high school and all at once while I was injured. And I came back and, you know, I could still hit, but, you know, there were better first basemen out there. You know, there were you know, faster guys, obviously, and I wasn't going to steal a base off of anybody. So, you know, I started playing football and yeah. over the next three or four years just fell in love with it. What did you get up to weight-wise then? Oh, 60, I'm only when I put on 60, I was only up uh, around probably 290. But uh, when I left high school, I was 325, and I got to Iowa, and they actually dropped me 30 pounds in the first two weeks. Yeah, my girlfriend wants that weight loss program real bad. But <laughs> don't print that. Yeah, Sussie. don't print that. Don't print that. She will Sussie kill me for that one. <laughs> really? Maybe I'll give it a shot someday. Do you still have a love for baseball? Do you still watch it? I mean, I know there's no professional teams in Iowa. Right. Uh, a little bit. You know, I'll go to a game if I'm invited. Um, I'll watch it if the White Sox are playing, but That's you know, aside team. from that, yeah, I've never really, you know, I've never gone back that direction though. No. Were you White a better singer? Team. Yeah, White Sox, Southside. That's where it is. Were you a better singer, better baseball player? I'm gonna say a better singer, just because I'm still doing that. I think at the height of my career, I was probably a better baseball player, but yeah. How did the Obama? How did that happen? I had a uh, friend in high school actually who uh, we met through the theater department, so he knew I could sing from like School Musicals. And, uh, he ended up working as part of the Obama administration up in uh, up in Washington, and he was running the thing in Iowa. Knew that I was there and just gave me a call. I was like, "Hey, you want to sing for the president?" And, like, yes, I would love to sing for the president. Why? You know, the whole thing just kind of took shape from there. Is that a neater experience in that World Series? No, I you know, and no offense to the president or anything, but the Little League World Series that was, you know, that was something else. Especially being a 12-year-old kid having the ESPN, you know, cameras on you and all that, it was definitely a world apart. How'd you guys do? Did you win any games? We did really well. Um, we went two and one in the U.S. bracket, uh, made it to the U.S. final, uh, top four teams in the country. Uh, lost to Texas though. Yeah. You friends with Brian Balaga? Yes. I will say yes to that question. <laughs> um, have you spoken to him since uh, you've begun the process of this whole draft process? I have actually. I um, texted him uh, during the season to see how he was doing. Uh, shot him a text and a picture message of uh, me and a group of about eight friends, all dressed up in Packer gear, you know, hanging out after the Super Bowl, a little congratulatory message for him. And uh, I actually uh, I did text him to get some information on, you know, basically the combine, kind of what to expect. And he gave me some good advice on it. What do you say? No, just be yourself. You know, don't get freaked out. They may ask you some weird stuff, but you know, I, you know, at the end of the day, it just just do what you always do. You know, they teach us at Iowa. We're you know we're trained to 
uh, you know, be composed and be poised and not get freaked out or anything. Like, just, you know, just stay cool. You have